Hi, I'm Mrs. Klostra from Bethany Christian School and I'm the kindergarten teacher here. And a lot of times so many people have questions about kindergarten, so I'm hoping that this little video can kind of answer some of those for you. Um, most of the time I get questions about um, reading and writing in kindergarten. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Hmm. First of all, we teach the letters using zoophonics. Um, and what's fun is that the kids learn the letter with an animal at the same time. So this is an example of A, it's Alley Alligator. And then um, they also see that it goes uh, merged with a regular lowercase letter A. They learn the lowercase letters first and their sound because most of the time when we're reading, we're reading lowercase letters. So it's really fun. Everyone has a signal. This is Alley Alligator and she says ah, ah, ah. Every single um, letter of the alphabet has one, so when we're learning the letters, the kids are moving around, having fun, getting all that energy out. Another aspect of our reading program is rainbow words, and what I do for homework is I send um, different sight words home by color. So I'll send a red set home first, and once the children learn the red words, they get to come to school and color in uh, the red part of their rainbow, and then they'll get the orange words, the yellow words, and so forth. And we have three rainbows here and uh, so that they learn a lot of the high frequency words that they encounter when they're reading. The one thing that's so exciting about kindergarten is that the kids really do learn to read. Um, in December, we start our reading groups and we have a book. Uh, this is an I Learn to Read book, A, and it's really simple. I don't know if you could see on the video camera, um, but it's words like cap, man, hat, tub, and there's a picture cue with them. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, but by January, we start learning about long vowels, and then later on in the spring, they learn about um, special sounds and different consonant blends. So by the end of the year, they're reading books like this, and I'll show it to the video camera. Um, and these books, um, they're able to read texts with the long vowel sounds, short vowel sounds, uh, uh, consonant blends and this really helps them and when they leave kindergarten they have a strong foundation for reading. Oh, Also when we do reading groups some people have asked me is it scary or pressure when we do reading groups. It really isn't. Um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of times we'll whisper read or read it with partners and it's not it's a very low pressure environment. The kids like it. One thing that I have them do a lot is read with a tubaloo and it's really fun because they'll read and they put it up to their mouth like this and then they can actually hear their voice reading and they love the tubaloo so that's a lot of fun. It, every reading level is different but we have a lot of kids leaving kindergarten reading um, at a second grade level. Um, most of them at least can read at a kindergarten level but a lot of them can go beyond that also. We encourage phonetic spelling and we use the 6 plus 1 traits of writing to uh, teach the children what good writing is and how to make their writing better. Um, at the beginning of kindergarten, we basically see a few letters that don't make sense on their paper, but that's great, that's fine. Um, but towards the end of kindergarten, we really see students um, writing uh, writing passages that make sense and using the phonics rules that they learned in reading uh, with their writing. For example, this one says, I love the rainforest, the rainbows, the animals. It's beautiful in the rainforest. It's like a jungle. It's so beautiful. I love the rainforest. And that is what somebody wrote all by themselves in kindergarten uh, towards the end. This was from May. But the thing is, is that the kids really enjoy journal writing and phonetic spelling because they're able to write a story. Even at the beginning of kindergarten, I can show you some of the stories that they write. Sometimes they don't quite make sense, especially at the beginning of the year, but uh, the kids really enjoy um, being able to feel like they can write something and uh, to get whatever's in their heart out there on paper. So that's a really exciting thing to see. This is our little book buddy bag that we have for homework in kindergarten. And in your book buddy bag, every single day I send home a different book. So this one was Jack's house, but every night it's a different book. And at the beginning of the year, they go with the themes. For example, um, it might be fall or pumpkins in October, um, Thanksgiving in November. We have lots of Christmas books in December. And they're books that the parents read to the child. But towards the springtime, I'm sending books home that are easy readers that the children can hopefully read to their parents. So that's part of the homework. We also have the rainbow words, and uh, I send those home to practice at home. So every night you'd be reading a book and practicing rainbow words. And then also I send home a homework calendar 
where there's something to do different on each day. So maybe on um, Monday it's that you count the doorknobs in your house or help your parents sort laundry or uh, a simple worksheet, something like that. And then this is turned in monthly. This is our morning message from this morning today. And every day I write a morning message to the kids. And this is one of the ways that we practice reading. And um, I point to it with my pointer here. And sometimes even later in the year, the kids get to point to the morning message. And we read it slowly the first time. Then uh, we read it again. We talk about the meaning. And then I'll normally have them come up and I might have them circle certain sight words. So on this morning message, I called on a child, come up and circle will. And then somebody else, come up and circle be. Come up and circle you or day. So it just um, it's another way to help them identify uh, some of the words that they're reading and connect them with their rainbow words. Um, also throughout the year, I. Uh, towards the end of the year, I'll have mistakes in the morning message, and then the children will come and they will edit it. So they might add a period or fix a word, maybe change it from uppercase to lowercase. Even the date, sometimes I'll, I'll mix it up and they can switch it. So um, that's something that we do every morning, and it helps them with reading. Um, they bring so much energy into the classroom, so I really like that. And I just love, I love the kids, and I love being around them. Uh, and that's what got me started working with children, and uh, that's what kind of led me down this career path. But um, I've really enjoyed this age group because you can see them grow so much. From September to June, they are different children. Not only do they look older, but they're so much more mature, and they can read and write and math, everything. I mean, they, they grow so much in one year, and it's really... Um, it's really wonderful just to see that every year. So I love teaching kindergarten. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if anybody ever has questions, please feel free to ask me.